I'm a dead left to fight the big war. Saw my first pistol in the Here we have Ricky Barbie. That's a play on the Ricky Bobby uh, Talladega Nights movie. Uh, 340 ET Yamaha. Nicely restored. This is our friend Barb and Ben Carson's snowmobile. We have a vintage drag race here in Nippon, Saskatchewan on Saturday. This is Monday. Uh, this sled sat for a couple years because they were busy raising families and making a living. And now it won't run without the choke. Uh, chronic issue. And Ben has tried absolutely everything. Carburation to ignition to compression, the whole nine yards. Um, so we'll attempt to solve this problem for them. I think I know what's wrong. It's got to do with the carburetor on these sleds. So we'll, uh, we'll see if that's indeed the case. So first thing to do is to get the carb off and up on the bench and, and uh, under the magnifying glass. So thankfully this snowmobile doesn't have the air box on it right now. And the air box on these are really not too hard to remove, but hard enough. So we'll this is the oil injection linkage. And if, we're, if we don't move the jam nut, we can get it back to where it was, but there is a calibration point for that. So we'll just flip him out of the way a bit. Uh, we need a Phillips screwdriver for the throttle cable. Yanks right out. And a pair of pliers. I'm going to just turn the choke on, or it is on. That way that little plunger won't disappear on us, hopefully. Tuck the fuel line up where it won't siphon on us. There she be. So what this carburetor is, it's a Makuni Butterfly float carb. I think it's a B. A B38. It's 38 millimeters. And we'll just take it all apart and Ben's done all this. <coughs> So, I don't know what we'll find, but I've got a feeling and there's a couple things we want to check. He said he's cleaned the pilot jet 
super clean, so that's the first place we go, which is the jet that makes your low speed operation. But the fact that it idles good, to me, means the pilot is okay. Now there are other mysterious passages in these carbs that most uh, Makuni round slide guys like me didn't know about. <clears throat> But I one time got a tip from a guy in the States called Keith Warning about mysterious passages on Yamaha flat side carbs on uh, SRXs, 81 SRXs. And that led me to find out about some of these passages on these. So we'll pop the float off, maybe. good that way. You can obviously tell the carb has been green inside from sitting and it's still a bit green. We'll give that a spray and a scrape. My fear with varnish that's in the carburetor body is that would a flake of that varnish get off and, and clog your main jet? someday and cause a, a lean condition. So there's the main and we'll run a tip cleaner through that before we put it back in. the pilot. And it looks open, but again we'll run a wire through there. Just take a little piece of wire and we'll hold the butterfly open and we'll take a look at what I suspect is wrong. Now inside these Makuni butterflies, that's the intake side here, the air goes in there, this is the engine side. The uh, low speed air adjustment or gas adjustment is up top. So the fuel actually is sucked in the pilot tube through a passage which comes up the carb up top here wheels its way through this welch plug which is I wish I had a bag of those welch plugs we'd pop that out there could be pollution in there and the idle mixture is adjusted with that screw, but inside the carb, and you can probably see there's three little holes down in here, and they plug up, and that carb won't be happy at low speed unless those are open, so that's my theory at this point. Al's helpful hint for the day. I could take a, oh, just broke off, one strand out of the steel brush and it makes a very nice stiff, some of these passages are smaller than the smallest tip cleaner that you can buy. So we clip one of these off, bend it at an angle, And we're going to reach in that carb. And 
and see if those little passages are open. I can't really see any any varnish or anything there. And again, if you could take the welch plug, if I had a replacement, you would see what's going on. <clears throat> but anyway, we'll pump some air through here all these passages carefully and hopefully we can get this sled back on the snow. So the passage in question is definitely open. If we hold the carb upside down, I put the slow speed adjustment screw all the way in, lightly seated. So that effectively hold, closes off that one port. So if we just trickle a little bit of carburetor cleaner in there, it's definitely coming out. So that passage is open. Also where the air goes in to the uh, slow speed circuit, it's open as well. So uh, Cautiously optimistic at this point. Now we're wearing our eye protection because we're going to blow some solvent around here. Without damaging the video camera. Looks promising. Now we'll just take a fine tip cleaner. These are available at any store that sells uh, welding supplies. Find the finest, one of the finer ones, and we'll just make sure that main jet, sometimes the main jet can look clear when you look through it, but if there's a buildup of varnish, it can actually be reduced in size. For the cost of them, they should just be replaced. But hey, we're in a depressed economy, right? And there was varnish on that main jet. Another helpful hint is, is if you look through a main jet and it looks clear, it probably is, but I would always run a tip cleaner through it and make sure, without filing the brass off and increasing the size, to make sure. I've been caught on that before too. The pilot looks open. We can find our little piece out of the wire brush. We'll get a tip cleaner on that too. Some of these holes are very small. Now I have an ET300 uh, service manual. This is an ET340, but the 300 manual says one and a half turns for the slow jet. 
which I think will be bang on. Our little pilot. The main jet. float I have to look in the book to see about the adjustment it's probably about right and back to the float bowl which is still green but we'll give it a little scrape Pretty nasty. Another important port to open up. is where the gas drains into this tube that the choke draws from. I've had these plugged and essentially the choke will not work. It's a matter of getting some air through which it seems to be open. So that is reassembled. We'll throw it back on the sled and see what happens. So let's give it a try. Let's give it a try.
studs are hitting the tunnel big time. About the time I did a little fight the big war, saw my first pistol in the gym.